All right, we're going to figure out the area of this sector, of this circle, and I should actually write down um, the radius of this of this circle, is 7 miles. Can't do this without, without a radius. Um, okay, 7 miles, so this is a giant circle. We, we want to find the area of this sector. And a sector is a section of the disk of a circle, so uh, a section of this, of this inner area of the circle um, bounded by the circle itself. Uh, which I've shaded in blue. It's a section which is enclosed by two radii. Uh, radii is just plural for radius. So I've got a radius here from here to here and a radius from here to here. Um, and the arc between the two radii. So radius, arc, radius, and that bounds off the space of this sector. And the sector has a central angle of 120 degrees. And the central angle is just an angle which is formed um, by two lines that intersect with the circle itself. So it intersects there and uh, intersects there. And the vertex of the angle is right on the center of the circle. So there's the vertex where the two lines meet. Um, so the central angle is 120 degrees and the radius is 7. Uh, let's make that a color we can see. 7 um, miles. Okay. So let's let's use some logic here. Let's think about this. Um, there is a formula for the area of a sector of a circle, but we're, but we're going to do the genius hack. We're going to just figure it out. We're not going to use not going to use a formula. We're just going to use our brains, and we'll actually end up deriving the formula. And that's something you should tell your friends that you did, um, because they'll be impressed. I mean, deriving formulas that's that's high level stuff. So here we go. Um, now let's imagine. All right, so the sector is part of the area of the circle. So what's the area of a circle? The whole area of a circle would be um, pi times the radius squared. OK, so imagine um, instead of uh, a sector with a central angle of, of 120 degrees, imagine our central angle were the full 360 degrees of of the circle. Well, the area of that sector would be just pi r squared, the whole area of the circle. I feel like that's hard to see. Um, pi r squared. OK, so w what we're going to get with the area of the sector here is part of pi r squared. Now, what part? Well, um, 120 degrees is part of the full 360 degrees all the way around. And the area of the sector, let's just call it A, will be part of the full area of the circle, which would be pi r squared. So we can just set up a proportion. Um, the ratio of 120 degrees to the full 360 degrees is um, proportional to the ratio of the area of the sector to the area of the full circle. All right, so we just set up a proportion. Uh, we've said that the ratio of this is uh, it means the same thing as the ratio of, of the area of this to the area of the whole circle. So let's just solve this. We can we can cross multiply to solve this proportion. I mean, so I do 360 degrees times a times the area that we're looking for. Boom, um, and then go the other way. Uh, cross multiply. So um, 120 degrees. times pi r squared. So we have 360 degrees times the area that we're looking for is equal to 120 degrees times pi r squared. So now we just need to solve for a, for the area. Um, it's being multiplied by 360 degrees. So we just divide by 360 degrees. Divide by 360 degrees. Um, so now we've got a is equal to 120 degrees pi r squared over 360 degrees. 300, 360 degrees, and we can uh, we can clean that up a little bit. Let's take this down here. Um, 120 divided by 360 is just one third. You can look at it as 12 out of 36 is uh, one third 
uh, 12 goes into 12 one time, 12 goes into 36 three times. So this would be um, 1 third um, times pi r squared. So 1 times pi r squared is just pi r squared. So I'm going to write pi r squared. The r is 7 miles. Um, seven, 7 squared is 49. So we're really, this says 49 pi over 3. And at this point, let me just grab the calculator um, to, f to figure out the, um, the decimal equivalent of this. So let me pause. All right, so we got 49 times um, pi. If you don't have a pi uh, button on your calculator, just estimate it to be 3.14. Um, so 49 times pi, we're going to divide it by 3. So the area of that circle is roughly um, or of the sector, I mean, is roughly 51 square miles. Okay, well, let's, let's just stay, take a step back here and see, see what we really did. Um, and we'll drive the formula for the area of a sector. Well, let's say instead of a central angle of 120 degrees, let's just call it theta, which means it's a, it's a variable. It's whatever. Um, and then the radius is just r. Let's rewrite this um, in a more general form so that you could plug in any central angle and any radius and get what the area would be. Um, well, following the same logic of setting up a proportion, theta, whatever theta is, theta degrees out of 360 degrees, so whatever this angle measurement is out of the full 360 degrees, is proportional to um, the area of the sector the area of the sector out of the full area of the circle of pi r squared. Now we can cross multiply uh, to solve for this proportion or solve this proportion. So we've got theta uh, times pi r squared is equal to um, area times 360 degrees. Sorry, it's getting kind of bunched up. Well, let's let's deal with that. Um, so we want to get area by itself. Let's uh, divide that 360 degrees away. So all in all, we've got area is equal to theta, whatever angle, whatever the central angle is of the sector you're talking about, times pi r squared, that's the area of the circle, pi times the radius squared, over 300 60 degrees, and that is the formula for the area of the sector of a circle.